We just got some new math books and I'm really excited to show them off. And um, these are Mathematical Reasoning and these are from the Critical Thinking Company. I purchased mine at timberoodle.com. Um, and we do use math curriculum in our daily homeschooling. We use Saxon Math and I have a kindergartner and a second grader. And my kindergartner uses Saxon Math 1 and my second grader uses Saxon Math um, 3. And I've had my eye on these mathematical reasoning books for probably a year and a half, two years now, and finally decided to just um, pull the trigger and get these. So I'm excited to show them off because I've been looking kind of, I like to see inside stuff. Um, that really helps me get a feel for what they're like. And I haven't been able to find great videos showing lots of, um, about these books, so I'm excited to make one for maybe other people who are looking for that. Um, so for my kindergartner, um, level B, which is kind of equivalent to grade one, I looked at the kindergarten level for him and just thought it um, was not going to be challenging enough. Um, so we'll jump right in. It has some table of contents that is more just like the concept and what pages um, that's on. It has some pages how to use the book, some teaching tips, some just kind of general math um, reminder type things, and then it just jumps right in. There's no teacher's manual with this, it just gives instructions at the top when needed. And um, just kind of some fun review at the beginning, just uh, filling in the number patterns, matching to the number word, count the blocks and add them, coins, um, like this one's showing that a nickel is the same as five pennies. And it does have some reviews, so here's some more of the filling in the missing number in those number patterns. Um, pairs and how many pairs are there, how many is that all together, kind of getting them starting to think about um, groups and kind of a precursor to multiplication. Uh, match up. This one is match up the cards that um, the hearts on them add up to seven. More of the groups and then coins adding. And then um, when there is a new concept that isn't something that's pretty self-explanatory maybe, it does have more instructions over here. So talking about symmetry and um, and then going back and doing some more similar activities, this time adding up um, the hearts add up to nine on the two different cards. Um, completing patterns. So this is kind of what we've done so far. Um, a little bit of critical thinking, what in each group doesn't fit. And it was really interesting to hear my son's ideas on these ones. Um, so my younger son is a much more creative thinker than my older son. And so he was kind of looking at these and instead of just saying, oh, there's three, three, and this is four, he was looking at, well, this one is straight lines and this is made of straight lines. Or, um, and so it was interesting to hear how he thought about and how he looked at these patterns before coming to the conclusion that um, it's three, three, and this is four. And so that one didn't fit. Um, so going ahead a little bit, there's some number lines and shows them how to add with that. Um, what has corners, subtracting, making graphs. I'm skipping quite a bit at a time here. Um, but just very colorful, which my kids really like. And um, there is quite a bit of review. For my kindergartner, I um, I think these could maybe stand alone for him. Some people use these as standalone curric curriculum. We are using them um, just sort of as supplement because my kindergartner is probably about three quarters of the way um, through our Saxon math, and it's we're only about um, a third of the way, maybe half, maybe half the way um, through the year, really. So he is flying through the math. Um, so this is good for him to have extra. So just a good peek inside. And these are separated, so you'll notice the um, pages are different colors. 
So um, they're kind of separated into sections. Um, and then at the top of the page it says what they're working on. So number, operations, and then let's see, um, algebra. What else? Um, these are fun. My older son has done these in his book already, but it's a dot to dot, but it doesn't go in order like a typical dot to dot. They first have to answer the questions over here and then um, whatever the answer is, it tells them where to start and then whatever the answer is, they go in order um, with their answers to form the picture. So that's kind of a peek inside the uh, level B or kind of equivalent to first grade level. And then there are in the very back, there is um, answer key. Let me show you that if you need it. Most of these at this level, you probably don't, but it is there in case there is a question on that. So that was level B and then this is level C or grade two that my second grade son is using. Um, again, it has table of contents and some little bit for um, teacher or parent. And then uh, kind of jumps right in. He did this, he just didn't write down the answers because he was too excited to get going and just answer them. Um, and just has a lot of these things are, I feel like they match up really well with what he is learning in Saxon 3 and it's a good um, different kind of review for him. So this is one where he had to answer the questions over here and go from left to right to complete the dot to dot. Uh, fractions and it does a um, little bit of explanation over here and then he filled in the fractions um, less than equal to greater than. And so it does have some review, um, kind of a spiral as they are going through it. Um, and I feel like this is challenging enough for him that, but it's also fun and interesting enough. He, my older son is not as, um, I guess he is much more the type that needs the Saxon match math um, teacher's manual that is very explicit in its ex instructions and very step-by-step -step, and then he is good. Um, I am not sure that these bo books would work for him as a standalone curriculum because they may not have quite enough instruction for him um, but he does really enjoy so far just kind of having the fun extras. So I'll just show you a few more um, Activities like this is a survey, and then they fill out, answer the questions. Um, lots of money, time, those fun uh, dot to dots. So, so far, we have been pretty happy, um, and they were really excited to do these. They do their normal math, and then Later in the day, um, they do a little bit more math with their fun workbook, and I don't tell them how many pages they have to do. Um, kind of whatever they want in this, since it's their fun extra. So um, hopefully this was helpful to kind of see. I love seeing just inside stuff to see what types of activities are included. So um, yeah, that's just a look inside. The uh, Level B and Level C Mathematical Reasoning from Critical Thinking Company.